Gather up any others you find and bring them back to the tower. I'll meet you with this one in a little bit. You don't have to be afraid anymore. I'm here to help. I know that you've been through a lot. I can't imagine what it must feel like to spend years of your life living like a puppet on a string. I'm here for you. I'll wait as long as I have to, okay? You just talk when you feel like you can. I'll just stay here stroking your hair until you feel better. Don't say that. I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to torture you. I'm not going to lock you away. And I'm most certainly not lying to you. I know that you remember me. It's an unfortunate thing. Most people in your situation only remember small bits and pieces of their time under somebody else's control. I don't know if you're different. It, it could just be that one of the memories you happened to have was of me. The level of recovered memory differs from person to person, but the common effect is that all repressed emotions tend to come back all at once. But I have a feeling you already know that. I understand that you're afraid. But if you keep cowering like that, you're gonna get sore. Good boy. You don't have to look at me, but... I would be very happy to see your eyes. I guess you still need some time, and that's okay. If you don't mind, I would like to tell you my part of the story to fill in any gaps you might have. I am a Dark Valkyrie, an ex-warrior of the Chief God. Every kingdom that obeys the Chief God has a Valkyrie to watch over their army, no matter how much the kingdom disgusts her. Though we agreed that the methods your kingdom used were brutal and cruel, I was forbidden to do anything other than watch over it and bless the fallen soldiers. But I couldn't stand to watch it. When I heard that a neighboring kingdom under the order teamed up with the Dullahan and her soldiers to fight against your kingdom, I was ordered to intervene. But I just couldn't defend a kingdom that made their soldiers act like a colony of ants serving a queen. I met up with the Dullahan in secret. She offered me a way to turn against the chief god. My appearance must be so much more demonic than I originally was. My skin blue, my hair white, and my eyes purple. My once white and pure wings forever stained black with corruption. My blade, once a holy weapon for striking down demons, now a sword to channel corruption and sowing seeds of desire in humans and corrupting the light of the chief god. I have no shame for my actions. They were necessary, and if the gods can allow such atrocities to exist, then I'm glad I'd no longer serve them. I remember every human I fought. I was considered a traitor by the heavens above, and as such was a target. A Valkyrie took my place and led a charge against me. 
you were in that charge. I cared little for my own safety because I knew that even if I was slain, the Valkyrie would allow you to be turned to your kingdom. But if I won, you would be forced to retreat. Either way, you would have been safe. But that's not to say I don't understand your fear. I don't know what you saw, but I can guess. When a monster fights a human, they do not use lethal force unless they have no choice. When two monsters fight, it is similar, but lethal force is never required as they both know their limits. When a demon and angel fight, however, that is a different story. I have no doubt in my mind that to your people, a Valkyrie is the closest thing to the chief god that you can see with your own eyes. To watch it be struck down by your enemy, I imagine that if you had your mind, you might be having this conversation with another monster. To keep fighting after such a display of power is cruel. They should have surrendered there. There didn't need to be more fighting after that. But your king did not relent. He ordered all of his soldiers back and I ordered my own soldiers to stall them. Monsters do not kill humans, but accidents happen. Especially during battles with madmen who are willing to use their own people as sacrificial pawns. I was scared that he would order all of his soldiers to be killed, claiming death by a holy sword is better than death by a corrupted blade. I've seen it happen. Some people live and die by the chief god's word and put up no effort. Some are hesitant and are killed, and others, they try to flee, but between the approaching army and the martyrs of the order, they think they have nowhere to go. I hate seeing humans distressed like that. As a Valkyrie, I was a sworn protector of humanity, and I was watching it destroy itself. I'm sorry. I've just never had anyone to talk to, nor the ability to express myself in this way. What I'm trying to say is I really do wish to help you. I would do anything to make you feel better. I just wish you would talk to me. You remember flashes of two winged creatures fighting? That's good. Is there anything else that you remember? He watched the Golden One fall. You ran to aid her and that's when you first saw me. I was standing over her. I looked at you and took a step closer to you before turning my head and flying away. I can see why you're so frightened of me. Like I said, I fought the Valkyrie that replaced me. I struck her down, but I did not stand over her to gloat or taunt or anything of the sort. I just wanted to know why she decided to fight for a person that deserves the title of monster. I admit, I still have much to learn of my new abilities. I had fought humans before her, and I was able to defeat them without killing them, and I thought I could do the same to her. But I was wrong. The reason I was standing over her is because before you arrived, I was on the ground at her side. 
She wasn't able to answer my question because the corruption in my sword was devouring her very essence. Valkyries were never meant to be monsters. It's just something that happens. We are maidens of war, soldiers, warriors, and defenders. We lack the ability to naturally hold back like most monsters are able to. But the reason for why I didn't immediately flee was because I saw myself in her. I didn't know if she had made a mistake or if she genuinely wanted the battle to end in my favor. And I still can't stop thinking about it. When I saw you, you immediately began to approach me with your weapon held. Any other monster would have easily disarmed you and you would have been taken to someone who could undo the spell and most likely you would have spent time with a gazer, vampire, or other monsters who could use hypnosis abilities and trances in order to slowly undo any damage that was done. But I left you there. I didn't trust myself not to kill you too. I've turned down multiple requests from the Demon Queen to meet with her because I had to find you. I wanted to right my wrongs. So that's why I'm willing to wait forever for you. It's okay. It's okay. Shh, I'm here now. Cry as much as you need to. I've caught you. I know that you're hurting and I'll help you, I promise. I'm going to take you to the tower and we'll fix your memories. Everything is going to be okay. Hey. I was so worried about you. How are you feeling? That's good. I returned here as soon as I heard that your treatment was almost done. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to see you. The healers thought it would be best to stay separated until they were certain you wouldn't relapse by seeing me. What's wrong? There's no need to apologize. Being shy is hardly the worst outcome of this. Come on, sit down with me. I have spent the past month working with the Dullahan who changed me to better control my abilities. Not only can I use my weapons and magic without hurting people, but I am also more precise than ever. Nothing is ever going to hurt you again. Well, dark Valkyries work different than normal Valkyries. Normal Valkyries might be assigned to an entire army or a single man, but the only thing they are is a protector. Valkyries like me were only assigned to a single man, and that's the person that we choose to marry. I'm still getting used to all of the new sensations and emotions that being a monster gives me, but what I've learned is that the person who we're attracted to is the person that we're meant to be with. It's like an emotional compass that points to who we're meant to love. And I think that's you. I spent a long time thinking about what I would say to you when we would finally reunite. But I still have nothing. So... I'm just going to say it. I want to be your Valkyrie. 
If you don't want me to, I understand. You really mean that? Thank you. Thank you. I won't let you down. I promise to take good care of you. What am I doing? It's what monsters do to claim their husbands. I, I can stop if you want. All right, then. Don't be afraid to say if you want me to stop. Even if you aren't technically claimed, there's no monster stupid enough to try and take you from me.